Hello guys, Smoothie here. In this video, we're going to take a look at the XM370A Airburst. I'm going to show you how to use it as well as what you can and can't really do with it. The Airburst is the gadget of newly released specialist Zane. If you've already played the new season in Battlefield 2042 and used this new weapon, I'm sure you've realized it is not as straightforward to play as it might seem. How does it work and how do you use it? To make it simple, the projectiles you fire from the airburst explode in mid-air and you can set the distance at which they do so. For example, if you set the distance at 50 meters, the projectiles will automatically explode after traveling 50 meters. This makes it a great weapon to cause splash damage to enemies behind cover. If you are scoping in while using the airburst, you'll notice the range meter on the right hand side. The right bar shows the current distance to where you are aiming at and the left bar shows your set distance at which the projectiles explode. You can ignore this for the most part as you should always set your distance before firing anyways. What you should focus on, however, is the color of the scope UI. If it's blue, you will deal the maximum amount of damage. But if your set distance is too far, it will turn orange. This indicates that if you fire your airburst now, it won't be very effective as the projectiles will explode on impact with the environment and deal less damage. You can clearly see this in this example. With the correct distance set and the projectile exploding in mid-air, the whole wall breaks immediately. Whereas on direct impact, it takes two shots to bring the wall down. So make sure that you always set your distance before firing. Another important thing to know is that the airburst has a maximum range of 100 meters. At 100 meters, the projectiles you fire will automatically explode. Now that you know how to use it, let's talk about when and where to use it. DICE did a pretty good job at balancing this weapon, because it's best and pretty much only uses what it was intended for, to clear out enemies behind cover. If you know there are enemies behind a certain cover, take out your airburst, set the distance on their cover and fire away to clear them out. It's very effective when the splash damage is used correctly. I've also tried shooting directly at enemies or tried to splash them by shooting on the ground near them. But as I mentioned earlier, it doesn't deal nearly as much damage as when the projectiles explode in the air next to them. It takes almost 3 direct hits for them to die. You're better off just using your gun in that case, so don't try and run around with it like it's a grenade launcher. It doesn't work that way. I hope this video helped in figuring out how to properly use the airburst as an effective weapon. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next time.